Hi guys, so this is a book that I've spoke about before and it's called Get Into I Do by Dr. Patricia Allen and if you want to watch the full live version of this video you can head on over to my Facebook pages. Um, I think I made this video on my Any Journeys counselling page but you can also head on over to my coaching page which is um, on Facebook as well called Coach Marianne Hansen. So what I want to talk about briefly in this video is how to navigate the different seasons in your relationship and as a relationship coach but also someone that's been in relationships myself the difficulty comes when people find it hard to accept growth and development in their partner so what it causes is it causes division because people see the person growing and they think they're moving away from them they see the person changing and they think it means they don't love me anymore um, and if we can learn to navigate through the different seasons that occur in every relationship, then usually it will mean that our relationships can be more successful. So the first stage is usually a really good stage, and that is where you're getting to know the person. You're deciding whether you want to see them again. If you've been on a date, you're deciding whether this is the right person for you. So the imperative thing with this is to take your time and be patient. There's no, there should be no time limit, no rush on this. It could take years for some people, it could take months for others. But getting to know each other is vital because this is where you should be working out, do I click with this person? Are there parts of their character that annoy me? Are there any red flags? And use this time wisely. You know, it shouldn't be used to see if there's any sexual chemistry between us or, um, you know, I'll sleep with them to see if we're sexually compatible or I'll take them around to see my friends or my family and stuff to see if they work under pressure. It's more about it's the more time you spend with a person in this stage, you'll get to know them because their personality will come out. You know, if you go out to a restaurant, you'll see how they treat other people in the restaurant. If you, um, you know, go on holiday with them, I'm not saying go on holiday like early, but even if you go for a weekend away or a nice a day trip out, you'll see how they are, you know, um, there's a lot of ways you can get to know a person, so it's about using this opportunity in this season to get to know someone. The second stage is exclusivity and acceptance. This is where you become comfortable with the person. Now, it's entirely up to you as a person whether you want to have a discussion with someone to see if you're exclusive to confirm it or whether you want to just um, accept yes we're exclusive now because we've been on lots of dates because we've met each other's family because we've met each other's friends because we you know spend a lot of time together some people need that um, confirmation and clarification other people don't it's entirely up to you and um, the only risk that you're probably taking is if you don't have the discussion or if no one actually says we're exclusive is that you could find that you, in your mind, believe that you're a couple, but the other person is seeing lots of other people, um, and then it could become, you know, upsetting for you if you're both on different pages. So sometimes it is good to have the discussion, but it's entirely up to you. This stage is where you become, accept each other, where you've already got to know each other to a point where you understand each other, and you feel you do want to be in a relationship. The next stage is where it becomes quite critical this is how you handle, manoeuvre and work through arguments. So every couple, there's going to be arguments. How you work through them, how you um, understand how that person deals with um, tension is really, really crucial because you're observing here. You're observing if this person can't deal with a little bit of bickering or a disagreement, they don't want to talk about it, they walk out, they end the relationship, then what's going to happen later down the line? So what you're doing here, all through the seasons, is you're observing, you're making judgments, you're working out, is this person for me? You know, and there's never an ending to that. Even when you're married, I think you're still, although you're committed and it's a different type of um, thing that you're doing, you should always still be reflecting. And one of the videos I made quite a long time ago, I think it's on my Facebook page, was about relationship goals. The same way that we set goals for um, ourselves individually, you should always be setting goals in your relationship. Where are we going? How are things going at the moment? What do we want for our future? So when you have an argument, it's looking at 
is this person someone who, when we argue that we're going to be able to work it out, are they going to want to sit and talk about it? Or are they someone that just walks away, keeps brushing it under the carpet, and then we never resolve anything? So this is a crucial um, point. The fourth stage really is where you've got past the arguments, you've worked through them, you know that you're exclusive, you accept and understand each other, you've got to know each other as much as you can. You don't really know someone 100% probably ever, <laughs> but you know them enough to know what you um, like about them. And this is where you change your status, so you either move in together, you get married, you know that you're a couple, you're building on the future, and this is where discussions like children might come into things, future decisions, where you're going to live, what you're going to do, your goals. Hurdles can still come up in this season, including chill, uh, cheating, maybe family not supporting the relationship, different values and beliefs. But it doesn't mean the end of the relationship because you've built up enough to the point where you are quite strong as a couple. So when we talk about words like power couples, to me that's where someone has got through all of the seasons, they're still together, they've got through all of the hurdles and they're a strong unit, they've made that decision that regardless, unless something really major happens between us, we are a couple, we are strong. Um, so yeah, that's really it really, I didn't want to make this a long video, I've done the live version of this over across on my Facebook pages. And it just, for me, I really appreciate my subscribers. I really appreciate every single person that takes time to comment on my videos. So I do want to try and make more videos for you guys. Um, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to share this video if you think it will benefit someone else. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.